How's it going everybody? My name is Anthony Miranda and today I'm going to be reviewing the Trayvax Contour Wallet. So full disclaimer, Trayvax did provide me this Contour Wallet free of charge. Um, I made no promise that I'd give them a good review. They just said, hey, do you want to check this out? Do you want to review it? And I said, yep, uh, send it to me and I'll, I'll check it out. Um, they did provide a discount code and I'll put that down in the details if you guys um, maybe you like this after you hear what I say about it. But enough of that, let's actually get into the content and let's uh, see what I think about this uh, Trayvac Contour. Um, so first impression when I got it, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, it seems really durable and hefty. That's kind of why I went with the Contour. I could have gotten one of the other wallets, um, but I preferred this because I tend to like bulkier wallets. And so for me, I liked that it had this really like hefty metal part in the front and then all these leather straps in the back. Um, I just thought that was cool to me. I really liked the, um, the big bulkiness to it. So that's what drew me to this initially. When you first get it, it comes in a little package and it has a little um, hex screw on it and you adjust it based on how many cards you have. And this contour holds up to 13 uh, cards in it. I think I have maybe 11 in here right now with some cash, but yeah, it only carries up to 13. So if you do carry more than that, this might not be for you. And some of those other wallets that Trayvax offers might not be for you because you exceed the capacity of this specific wallet. So just something to keep in mind. And just for uh, first impressions, as you can see uh, right here, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says made in the USA. Um, these are products made in the USA, USA by Trayvax. Um, I know a lot of other YouTubers out there, a lot of other gun tubers support Trayvax. Trayvax definitely has something going for it as far as made in the USA. And I know a lot of you like me support uh, US based companies. So that's pretty cool. And also another neat thing that comes along with this, and there was a card in the package that I received, but also you'll see it on their website if you go check them out. Um, they have a 65 year uh, heirloom warranty that comes along with these wallets. So that's pretty neat and distinguishes them from some of these other minimalist companies. Um, they have a lot of confidence in their products and, and in their wallets and in their craftsmanship and what they do. Some of you might wonder what uh, kind of is covered by that just covers that normal wear and tear, broken straps, uh, worn out Velcro, broken grommets, frayed paracord, broken rivets, all that that might uh, come along with, you know, carrying this for, you know, extended periods of time. Uh, for example, if you know the leather straps started to break or they frayed to the point where they didn't work anymore, or any of these screws broke or whatever, that warranty would cover that. So as you can see, it also has a bottle opener integrated on the actual metal part of the uh, contour wallet. So I mean, to me, that's kind of a cool little addition to have it, just, you know, sort of a ease of life type of thing. I don't know about you guys, but I always find myself needing a bottle opener here and there, and I hate having to like ask other people for one or search you know, through the drawers to try to find one. It's kind of cool that I just know I have one attached to my uh, uh, wallet. Also, as you can see, it has this little attachment point right here and you can um, hook it to your belt if you want to. It's a cool little like attachment point if you didn't want to carry it in your pocket. Um, to me, I'd, I just carried it in my front left pocket. That's just kind of where I've resorted to it going. Um, I don't, I've kind of moved away from carrying wallets in my back pocket just because I have some back issues in general and I, it just, it's not as comfortable for me to sit long, uh, long periods of time with the wallet in my back pocket. So I've kind of moved it to the left front, but if you wanted to, you can add it to a carabiner. So for example, if you wanted to, you can add it to your keychain like this. Um, I don't know, you know, I, to me, I don't prefer to carry, I would not prefer to carry my wallet like that. I would rather carry it in my pocket, but if you wanted to, you could carry it on your keychain like that, or actually just tie it to the carabiner, but your personal preference, but it's a cool little thing, a cool little option that you have available to you if you get this wallet. And if you prefer to do that, you can do it. So Trayvax actually offers a lot of different color variations and um, leather color variations. Uh, I know for the Trayvax Contour, they have a, a metal that's black, a metal that's raw, a metal that's gold. Um, and as far as the leather, um, you can get the tobacco brown like I have here. Um, so I have the tobacco brown on this, um, but you could also get a steel gray color or you can just get the straight up black or I think they also have one that's called Mississippi Mud. Um, but it's another type of brown. Um, but yeah, you have, you know, a few color options, then you can mix and match and, you know, 
design it to your specific looks. Also kind of neat, um, I was looking at their website, you can also get it engraved and there's a couple options as far as engraving. You can do um, a single line or two lines. Um, I think their single line was 159 and I can't remember what their two line was. Um, but yeah, you have that option where you can also get it engraved if you want. Also cool little thing, I don't know if you guys can see that, but here on the inside it has a little engraving and says, earn your story. Um, I don't, I didn't request any engraving or anything like that. I don't know if that's where they put it or if that's on all their wallets, but I just thought that was kind of cool that that was inside here. Um, it's just a cool little addition and they have their little Trayvax emblem here on the back of the leather. So let's just take a look in the back real quick. This is the place where you put your cash and it actually, you know, functions pretty simplistic. You have to adjust the length of the leather and the, um, you know, width of the wallet. They offer you a little torque wrench where you can set that all up yourself and it's pretty just basic um, to set up and they have like instructions and all that. Um, but yeah, you just set it up to how many you want. You put your cards in there and then this back slot right here is where you put your cash. And so I just like to fold it up like this and then I just slide it in there like that. You cinch down the front and then you just push down the little button. That's how it holds it right there. It's pretty much all friction. Um, I carried this thing out around recently. Uh, me and my wife went on vacation to Disneyland for like five or six days. Yeah, it was six days. And we walked around, you know, multiple parks all day. And I had this in my, in my pocket. I mean, we'd walked miles and miles. I think one day we walked like 20 something miles in just one day. And I had this wallet on me the whole time. Didn't have any issues. No money fell out. I think I had way more money in it than right now. Um, Cause of course you're on vacation, you're in Disneyland, it's super expensive. So we had to have a lot of cash on us along with our cards and whatnot. One little downside that I did notice to uh, carrying this for long periods of time and this could have just been because of what we were what we were doing when we were in Disneyland. I felt like um, the sweat from my leg was really building up on the front card. So I had my ID right here, and I felt like that was building up a lot on my ID. Um, so just something to keep keep in mind, especially if you are do something for super long periods of time outdoors and you're sweating a lot, and you have this face directly on your leg. Um, or on inside your pocket in the position that where it'd be, you know, facing your leg where it'll, your leg is perspiring and getting sweat and building up sweat on it. Um, it could build up on whatever you have on this front side. So just something to keep in mind. But as far as like in general, how it's, you know, held up over the last few uh, months since I've had it, I think it's held out fine. I don't really have any, you know, wear or anything on the front. Of course, the leather builds it, um, you know, breaks in over time. Um, there's little scratches here and there. And, um, you know, the leather kind of gets this patina to it like any other leather does. It just builds up and breaks down and expands and gets, you know, character to it. But that's why I like it. It kind of have this metal, you know, durability on the front and then you have this kind of you know antique um you know patina -y look on the back and it'll just get more character over time and i like my edc stuff to have character to it i like all my lights to be marred up and you know to show that i wear them all the time my knives to show that i wear them all the time because my edc items are meant to be used every day they're meant to be durable rugged and just to be like throw in your pocket and go and not have to worry about it and i think this definitely falls into that category so, I mean, it is a little pricey, it's $139. I know a lot of you are probably like, well, of course you love it because you got it for free and you didn't have to pay the $139. But, you know, if you're already in the, you know, minimalist wallet, EDC wallet type range and you're looking for a product, I couldn't recommend this anymore. Um, Trayvax does offer other wallets that aren't, you know, $139 that are cheaper. Um, you don't have to get the Contour, you can check out one of those other ones. You know, so they do have cheaper options, just like uh, I think their original 2.0, which is like I think the first wallet that they came out with. I think that one's like $39. So they do have a lot cheaper minimalist wallets. Um, but as far as, you know, what I'm actually reviewing, I think this one's $139. But yeah, that's my general thoughts and opinions on the Trayvax Contour. Of course, you don't have to agree with me. That's the great thing about where we're at in the world and in America, you don't have to agree with everything I say. You might think that the trade house contours suck or these minimalist wallets in general suck and you just want your, you know, leather wallet. Um, I completely respect that opinion. Just to me, I think it's kind of cool and I've kind of just ditched my other wallet and I've just been rocking with this for the last few months and it's been really cool. It does everything I need. Um, and I don't have to deal with that big bulky trifold. Um, and again, if you want to check it out, 
Um, Travax did provide a discount code for you guys and you can use the uh, discount code and I'll link it down in the description if you want to pick one up for yourselves. And if you made it this far in the video, what do you do? And you might as well just subscribe. Obviously you like my content. Uh, I'm going to be making more reviews like this in general and I am a licensed practicing attorney in the state of California so I make some uh, legal related second amendment uh, content as well that you might find uh, you know helpful or informative or intriguing to you so um, that stuff also comes on my channel along with these general reviews and gun related stuff. But yeah thanks again for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.